So we're at the uh, uh, pumping station outfall for our 10th Street on Miami Beach. And uh, uh, down here you can see if the camera is uh, good. Uh, we'll merge a photo later. Um, but you're going to see at the outfall, there's a tremendous amount of trash and uh, mainly plastic bags. So I'm going to see what's down there. It's all plastics. Plastic bags. It's wound around the uh, uh, vanity grates. So it's all twisted up, I imagine. It's because of the high pressure. I can only imagine what else is going through and making it. Plastic water bottles, styrofoam containers. This is all just wrapped around the vanity grates. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this trash is coming through the pumping station. No doubt in my mind. It's just twisted around. Look at this. Look at this big thing. If there are pollution controls, they sure are not working. This is the, uh, the boom that they put around that's supposed to capture trash. It doesn't, it is not firmly affixed to the point where it can capture trash. This is a temporary device that's mainly used during construction so that debris and material doesn't uh, flow out into the bay. It's a regulation, it's a requirement. And uh, as you can see down here, this thing is all chopped up into a million pieces. The, uh, uh, it's not effective, it's not doing anything, it's not working. Let's see, just by chance. Oh, what do we see here? Wide open styrofoam that is, oh, a good, uh, good wisp away from, uh, uh, from just being out in the sea. Look at this. This is just, all I did was touch it. It's all over the rocks here. And I think it was reported months ago. They've known this has been here in this condition for a long time. And I don't understand why there's not just general monitoring of this stuff. So they put these bars in front to prevent sea life from coming in. But it also is a uh, good place for the trash that goes through our storm drains. To get, cap to get caught inadvertently. And I've documented over the course of a couple years that the trash is actually, in our storm drain systems, is actually clogging up uh, our uh, storm drains and it's, it's, it's a significant contributor to flooding. Uh, it's probably telling you to please recycle this bag, I imagine, because that's what you, they want you to do. Keep away from babies. Babies are so important, as are all of the sea creatures that are going to mistake this stuff for jellyfish and try to eat it. There must be a good, oh, 50 plastic bags all tied up in this muck. We need to prevent this stuff from getting into the storm drains in the beginning. I don't care what kind of pollution controls you have over in here, uh, their vortex, so I've been told is the magic answer. Uh, that's only gonna be effective if you have a limited amount of trash going into the system. It can't be effective if it's overwhelmed. Or, my question is, are we doing the appropriate maintenance according to manufacturer specifications to prevent this, uh, uh, to prevent debris and trash from going out. Uh, either way, this is gross and this is unacceptable.